What if a slightly funny looking guy way back from 1908 told you that you're trying too hard with business and life, reading way too many books on strategy, marketing, etc., and that you could actually use more subtle principles that leverage your connection to the universe? The science of getting rich points out this way. And yep, sounds woo-woo, but I'll leave you some links at the end to some well-known people who do believe in the unseen portion of our reality that goes to work for us in response to our consistent thoughts. Wallace Waddles was this successful guy who made use of these principles in this book to make a lot of money and wanted as many people as possible to know that they can create abundance in an easy way that doesn't involve a lot of struggle and effort in the outside world, so he decided to write about it. If there's one important point that Wallace makes in his book, it's this. There is a thinking substance that everything you see in the universe is made up of, including you, and this substance moves according to your thoughts, but the habits need to be intentional and habitual. You see, Waddles was a fan of writers such as Emerson and Schopenhauer, who explored topics of man's powerful mental influences on the universe and pulling from the unseen to the seen by way of meditation and visualization. So how to make this practical? Come up with one written summary of how you want your life to look like. Take a small piece of paper and get it down in ink if necessary. Then he says in your spare time, whether you're taking a bath, washing dishes at a red light, simply dwell on how you feel already being there in that new life. And he says also that it's important to actually feel gratitude for this new reality as if it's already your actual life now. In other words, you know how like when you score a free hotel upgrade or you meet a new romantic partner, you shout thank you to the universe? Well, if you do this for things that are not yet present, those things are going to objectify themselves. Wallace is saying that there is essentially a vacuum that is created when you hold the feelings of havingness and gratitude for something that's not yet materialized, and that vacuum likes to be resolved by filling in with that thing. So the manifestation has to happen. Another thing, whatever you're doing currently to earn money, whether it's a job or a business, you must act in a certain way. Waddle says that if you fuel each individual action as if you're taking that action as someone who already has all the things you want, it makes the work that you do quality work, full of focus and good energy. And you're actually able to stay in a good mood while you're at a job that you may dislike. Example, if you're at a job that maybe involves writing emails to customers, pretend that you're actually writing thank you letters to your own customers of your own business in response to them emailing you that your product is helping them so much. And make sure you're feeling the awesome reality of your spectacular life that's manifest right now, even though you're sitting in a cubicle working for someone else. Instead of using willpower to force you to study some skill that you think might make a lot of money, but you would not enjoy. Instead, spend that willpower in keeping your image of your perfect life in your mind and live in the now. In the beginning of the video, I made that point about not having to overdo trying to cram unnecessary knowledge into your head through too many business books, and the garage guy might disagree. And this is what Waddles is saying also, by simply holding your vision in your mind and acting as if you're already in that cloud nine dream existence, then the people around you and the events that that occur will just naturally lead you to the different components of your total life vision that you wrote down. For instance, you go to a cocktail meetup.com group and you meet someone perfect for your business. And two weeks later, you go to your workout and that grateful feeling that you've been practicing that you're already with the lover, it pays off and bam, you meet someone. A month later, you catch the perfect thing on TV or YouTube that reinforces your new high quality thinking, such as an interview with Will Smith on how he applies this, these spiritual principles. I mean, seriously, just be thankful in advance before the thing appears, it really works. And have some faith that we don't live in some Newtonian existence where everything is just a thing, unconnected, and that we're all just walking clumps of flesh trying to get what others have that we see. I hope you at least Google for this book. There's plenty of free PDFs of it on the internet, and and this is one of those classics though, so I personally have to have it in like a regular book format I can read on my recliner. If you want to stay tuned for more book summaries and other types of videos, click subscribe.